What up everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with another fraction lesson. Today we are talking about dividing mixed numbers by fractions using area models, okay? So the first thing we got to realize, right, and this is a reminder when, because uh, I know you guys have just watched our dividing a whole number by a fraction. When we're going to think about this, we want to think about division as how many groups can we make, right? So we're given the total, how many groups of three-fourths can I make here? And when we think about division that way, it makes this a little bit easier. So first of all, let me go ahead and grab three and then have another one half. I'm actually going to scroll down a little bit, okay? And what I'm thinking about here, right, again, because I know you just watched our other video, is how many groups of three-fourths can I make from three and one half, right? So here's my three, and then here's my other half right here. Let me highlight this for us. So in our previous video, uh, what we did is we just went ahead and split this up, right? But because this is mixed numbers, so it's really kind of like two different fractions, um, we, we want, I'm going to draw underneath, okay? So here's my three and one half. How many groups of three-fourths can I make? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw the same area models underneath, and I'm going to split them up into fours, right? So here we go. So really what I'm doing is I'm finding a common denominator, right? And again, I want to see, okay, how many groups of three-fourths can I make out of three and one-half, right? If I rewrote this using my fact family knowledge, blank groups of three-fourths equaled three and one-half. And I want to just, you know, make this easier. I'm going to go ahead and split these up into fourths too so you can kind of see. All right, so one, two, three, this would be my first group of three-fourths, right? So that's going to be one group. Then I have one, two, three, and again, it'd be easier to kind of put these together, but just because I want to show you the separate holes, here's my next group of three-fourths. One, two, three, right? Here's my next group of three-fourths. That's my third group. And then I have one, two, three. That's my next group of three-fourths. That's four. And then I have two left over, right? So um, again, we kind of talked about this in previous lessons. I have two left over, and I was trying to make a group of three-fourths, okay? So if I have one, two, and I was trying to have three, that's really two-thirds of a group that I would need. So my answer for this is four and two-thirds, okay? I would need four and two-thirds groups of three-fourths to make three and one-half, or three and one-half divided by three-fourths would be four and two-thirds, okay? This part right here with the remainder can be a little bit tricky, so I just want to touch on it again. So it's the reason it's two-thirds and not two-fourths is because I was trying to make a group that had three in it, right? One, two, three, because it was three-fourths, and I only have two of those, hence two-thirds. That's just something you got to practice when you get used to. Let's take a look at a we-do problem. Again, when I'm trying to divide a mixed number by a fraction, it's easier to think about this as how many groups can I make of two and two-thirds, right? All right, so here's my two and two-thirds. And again, I'm kind of thinking about this as how many groups of three-fourths do I need to make to make two and two-thirds? So underneath of this, I'm going to go ahead and draw my uh, holes again, okay? And the first thing we're going to want to do, right, is find a common denominator here, all right? A common denominator is going to make this a lot simpler. And so I know my common number between uh, two and, or between thirds and fourths, right, is going to be twelfths. So I'm going to go ahead and um, split this into twelfths right here. All right. Now a lot of people do it vertically. Um, you know, it, it doesn't really particularly matter. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it kind of horizontally like this. There we go. Just because if I try to do twelfths, I didn't really think this one through, and it's going to get kind of messy, right? So here we go. Split each of these into twelfths. There we go. Perfect. And now, right, I know that I'm trying to figure out how many groups of three-fourths can I make. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like number these off. Now, three-fourths, right, would really be equal to nine-twelfths. So if you can find this common denominator, and this obviously would be equal to eight twelfths okay hopefully you know how to do common denominators if you're doing the advanced math playlist and so here we have two in uh 
2 and 8 twelfths divided by 9 twelfths, right? So a lot more simpler if we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just start numbering them off. 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is kind of my first group right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is going to be my second group if I was labeling them. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is going to be my third group right there. And you can see right here, this ends right here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I have three holes, right? Now my leftover pieces is 5. And again, Think about what is your denominator, right? A lot of people want to think it's 12, but remember, we were making groups of 9, so you have 5 out of 9 left over. So your answer here is going to be 3 and 5 ninths. 3 and 5 ninths, groups of 3 fourths equal 2 and 2 thirds, or 2 and 2 thirds, or really 2 and 8 twelfths, divided by 9 twelfths, would give you an answer of 3 and 5 ninths. All right, let's take a look at a U try problem, okay? So what I want you to do is go ahead and pause the video um, and try this one out by yourself, remembering that we are thinking about division as how many groups, right? So if you were going to rewrite this, again, just kind of help you visualize this, you want to rewrite this as, okay, how many groups of two-fifths, using your fact family knowledge, of course, equal five and one-half, right? That's the question mark we're trying to find. So go ahead and pause the video. Draw out your model, and then push play when you're ready to check it. I'm going to go ahead and get my 5 and 1 half out. Here we go. All right, there we go. 3, 4, 5, and then I need an extra one for my half right there. So here's my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 holes, and then I'll go ahead and put my line right, but half of a, another one. Okay, and I want to figure out, okay, two fifths, right? How many groups of two fifths can I make? So, first thing we want to do, get, make this easier, okay, is to find a common denominator right here. So this would be five tenths, right? And this would be four tenths. So really, underneath of this, okay, here we go, go ahead and draw my ones. I want to split this into tenths. Now, that's not going to be very fun, but hopefully you tried it out. Typically, you're going to get numbers that work a lot better together. That way, you don't have to, you know, make tens, but that's okay. All right, and we want to split this into groups of four tenths, right? So I'm going to go ahead and kind of number them out. Here we go. That's going to be one group. Here would be another group. That's two. One, two, three, four. So I kind of go over there. That's my third group. Here is my fourth group. Here's my fifth group. Sixth, seventh. Got to go one, two, three, four over here. That would be my eighth, ninth, whew, tenth, eleventh. 12th, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, right here would be my 13th, and then I have 1, 2, 3 left over, and I needed 4, right, because again, this is where the halfway mark stopped, right, we're not using this part at all. So you can see, when I had all these groups, I had 13 whole groups, and then 1, 2, 3 out of four, right? Because I, again, I needed four to make my whole group. So my answer for this one should have been 13 and three fourths. Hopefully by drawing all these models, you're really gonna appreciate the shortcut coming up, and I think that you will. But if you didn't get it right, that's all right. Go back, try, uh, watch another video, try the practice problems again that your teacher is gonna give you. Um, ask questions if you need help, and don't just don't forget, the shortcut is coming. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, let us know where you're watching from. Instruct the beats out.